Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We're here to do today another colouring chat. We're going to finish off uh, the picture we were doing in Chibi Girls uh, Volume 2 by April Amber. So just a disclaimer, this is an adult channel and the videos on this channel are intended for adults and not for children. So we started doing this with the Arteza Everblends last week and we are now going to finish them all off. I won't be a second. So, we are just going to do this and then we are going to crack on uh, in the next episode with a different book. So, we'll see what we've got. So, there we go. First things first, how are you all? Hope you're all well. Um, I haven't got all my pens up here. I'm a bit um, discombobulated today for some reason. Not actually sure why. Ooh, let me just get them. I won't be a sec. Right, there we go. I'm ready now. So I'm just going to zoom in and we'll carry on. So yeah, I'm just going to get her microphone um, in black. So how is everybody? Are you all okay? I do hope so. Um, I hope you're all keeping well and you're not too busy and that you're keeping safe, which is the most important thing at the moment, isn't it? Let's be honest. Um, it doesn't matter uh, really about anything else as long as we're all keeping ourselves safe and well. Um, it's all go here. Um, you know what with world events and everything that's going on locally I'm sure you're aware of this um, our first minister has said that if we're not careful that uh, the whole of Wales will be in a second lockdown within seven weeks seven weeks that's not very long at all so yeah it's kind of scary um, but it is what it is and we have to be careful we have to be sensible. So I'm going to switch now to some sharpies to do um, some blue bits. I have missed a bit of curtain behind there which I'm just going to make it part of her, her outfit to be honest. I'm just going to colour it in this dark but nice dark blue. Can you actually see what I'm doing? You can. Excellent. I've got the tripod extended a little bit more. So to be honest it wouldn't bother me if it did because I don't go up very far anyway other than today I had to go and see my mum because she bought a new Kindle and she doesn't have a clue what to do with them so I was I, I sort them all out for her uh, so I, I picked it up and I put some books on it and I took it back down and then I connected it to her Wi-Fi so that they could be downloaded onto her Kindle properly and that's fine it's all good now so she's uh, got that sorted which is great um, but yeah I mean my dad's fine dog's all right as far as I know she seems to be all right so that's good Still working, still selling on eBay. I've had a couple of sales recently. Um, I'm in profit for the month, which is all I ask. You know, I'm not doing this to try and replace my current job. It is an extra. And I I do I do it for fun. It's a bit of extra money in our savings in savings account for Christmas, holidays, those sorts of things. Um, but yeah, it is hard to try and get it all done. So I'm, I'm trying not to do everything in one day. So today I am filming, as you can see. Tomorrow, and I will film as much as I can. Tomorrow I will be um, doing as much eBay as I can in the evening. So it'll be photographing. The only thing I will, time I will maybe have to do two things, uh, both filming and eBay, 
uh, when I have to measure and I usually only measure a few a day but I'm going to try and measure everything I get photographed so I can get all the, the bits on properly and, and get it all listed but yeah I listed five today got two going out tomorrow so far my managed payments are paying out fine they're paying out every day um I might change it to weekly just to make it easier for me I'm not sure what colours do her eye I always think these girls have really weird big eyes. So I might just go with a dark sharpie green. And I'm not going to do the whole of it. I'm just going to just go around here a bit. There we are. That'll do. That looks fine. Okay. And I'm going to use a lighter blue for the rest of her outfit. So her, this is actually a neon, from the neon sharpie set I got in uh, Lidl's the other week. Which was in my haul. I might get another set of these because they're only $1.99. And I really like the colours. And I like, I like the, I, li I like them. It's a nice blue. But yeah, we're all keeping really well. We're just carrying on with our lives and enjoying it and... We've been watching um, the Robert Galbraith, which is actually J.K. Rowling, series Strike, um, which was uh, White something, White Silence or something it was called. I don't know, I can't remember. Very good. It was all very enjoyable. Tom Burke is brilliant, as is Holiday Granger. Both are very, very good actors. So we, we do enjoy that, and uh, so we've been watching that, and then um, haven't watched it yet, but that new series about Dennis Nielsen has started, The Serial Killer with David Tennant in it. Apparently he is so good, people are actually terrified because he does facially resemble him, and I think they did a good job of making him like him. I haven't watched it. Um, I didn't realise it was actually on. I should have really because I did uh, uh, record the documentary about the Nielsen killings. Um, which was on, on the same day. But it's on the ITV hub so I'll watch it on the weekend I think. Or I might watch it tomorrow morning when I get up. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. When people said it was very, very, very good and it was terrifying. I'm playing this game on my phone and it's hurting my index finger because <laughs> I'm, um, yeah, I play it so much and it's, oh, it's not good. Going to move on to the gels now. So, I'm just thinking what colours to do them. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do the microphone stand and I'll use the silver for that. I am going to put some sparkle on her clothes as well. Oh, I love doing this. I love colouring. I've missed, you know, I, I didn't do very much yesterday. I did a little bit, but not much because it's just, I'm just so busy with absolutely everything. I'm glad I got another set of these link shines. Gonna do the stars in gold because that's how I go with stars. I should have started at the other end really but there we go. So Jennifer is brilliant. She's really enjoying her nursery really well now. She's a lot better. Whereas before, she was just a little bit reticent at going in and leaving us. Um, but uh, she's fine now. And the owner came out and said how well she's coming on in just over just over a week. And her, she's getting more confident and talking more. And her speech is really good. And she, she really gets into it, which is what I want her to hear. Um, because it's important that she enjoys what she's doing there and she does, she comes home filthy and I don't care because if you can't get filthy at two and a half, when can you? because it's going to be plenty of time where it's going to be Jennifer, you've got to keep your school, clean, school clothes clean and to be fair, she does, doesn't like getting dirty if she gets a mark on her, she's like, uh oh, mark she goes, mark Oh, 
And she's starting to learn numbers and letters. She can count a little bit, you know, like she'll count, yeah, she'll go she'll go out and she'll look at ornaments and she'll count how many uh, say how many owls are there and she'll count them. Don't know if she knows what it actually means, but and um if you say the alphabet she'll repeat what she can. So we're trying to teach her. So and um, yeah. She can she doesn't need to hold my hand going down the stairs anymore. I do well, she doesn't need me to carry her down the stairs, I should say. She holds one hand and her other hand is on her banister. And then going up the stairs, she doesn't hold my hand at all. She just walks up on her own, which is great. I'm right behind her, so she's not going to fall. Um, so that's good. She, she tries to climb in the car herself, but she's got a habit of trying to bypass her car seat and go and sit in a normal seat, which obviously she's not allowed to do. So I'm forever... I just, I just lift her in. She can climb into the car on her own now. So... <laughs> Yeah, she's very good. She loves kicking the ball and things like that. She loves it. She does love kicking balls around. She's a good eater. Everybody says she's a good eater. The last nursery did and this nursery, she's not particularly fussy. She pretty much just eats what you put in front of her. She's not the same at home because she knows she can get away with it. But at nursery, it's like, this is what you're getting. Saying that, she does love peas and carrots. So we do give it to her as much as we can, peas and carrots. So, yeah, she does love peas and carrots. And bananas. She likes a good banana. She's good with fruit. She's not too sure about orange yet, but she's getting there. <laughs> oh, she's a good girl. She's been awake most of the evening. She had a little sleep this afternoon. She was shattered. Um, she stayed downstairs with Dad. I was up here doing some jobs. And uh, I went down. She was asleep. So. so then when she woke up, I went down properly. And uh, She was a bit dopey and tired and just laying on me. She's still tired, so... Put her to, we had tea early, put her to bed early. She didn't want to go to sleep then. You think she's actually gone now? I might put some... No, I won't. No. no. I'm, just, I'm just thinking to myself. Don't worry. I do a lot of thinking to myself. <laughs> I like this. I also wonder what colour to do those. I might do the musical notes, Silver. I don't know. Hmm. I'm still trying to use up my bits of, of glitter pens in various pattern books. So I've got loads of bits. I have got loads of new ones, not including the Sakura jelly rolls, which I will not use for just anything. I'll probably use them over Christmas to be fair. Um, I've got a packet of Link Shine. I've got the mudder ones I showed you last week. I've got some more this week. I'm not really spending a lot on colouring this month because we have got to pay her nursery fees and we haven't had the invoice yet. It should come any time now. So I don't want to go spending too much money and then think, crap, I've got to take all the money out of my savings account to pay for her fees. So. To be fair, all my bills have gone out, like my car insurance has gone out, I've got a f almost full tank of diesel, I've got my um, my phone's gone out, so everything of mine goes out by the 15th, so what's left after that is for shopping and me. So, but I've still got nursery now, so I've got to wait till that's done, and then I might be able to buy a few books towards the end of the month. With it being Halloween next month, and as Halloween is pretty much cancelled, unfortunately, you know, no trick or treating or anything good fun like that. Um, I might get some, a couple more Halloween books. I've got tons of Halloween books. I don't really need any more. But, I, I, but then I don't mind colouring Halloween stuff all year round. I mean, you can colour witches at any time of the year and horror stuff at any time of the year. 
Christmases could be a bit funny colouring any time of the year other than December or July because we always do Christmas in July that that's a bit of fun but uh, yeah I think that's like I wouldn't colour I've got an Easter book and a spring book now the, the spring book I would colour in any time of year but the Easter one I'd only colour at Easter and sometimes in the winter it'd be nice to colour um, a, 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 win a summer book in the winter just to you know but then you can colour whatever you want whenever you want it doesn't actually matter does it it's it's about colouring and having fun so my mum's now got two colouring books my dad bought her one from what which is like a shop that sells DIY house goods some basic foods, um, crafting supplies, they have good crafting supplies and lots of decorations. They've literally gone and ignored Halloween this year. They've gone straight to the Christmas decorations. So that's how, uh, what they're thinking about uh, Halloween. And usually they have a hell of a lot of Halloween stuff. I love going in there. Um, and there's some cheap pencils, a six pack of or eight pack of pencils with grips on. And um, I took her down the Colour in Heaven dogs 2018 which I've had since 2018 I thought I'm not going to colour in that so I've got so many books I don't mind giving my mum one uh, and I gave her my well I've lent her she's not having them permanently my Marco Ruffines and then if she likes colouring I will get her some nice pens pencils and pens of her own I said if you want me to try and get you something that's going to be a little bit easier I could get you some like felt pens like some some Crayola super tips to be going on with but uh, she said she's happy with the pencils for now as ever get into it dad could get you some pencils for Christmas like a really nice brand or some men I don't know I plan on getting her some she, she's doing patterns at the moment I said I'll get her some Jade Summer ones some of the simpler ones if she wants but knowing my mum she'll colour it from start to end whereas I'll pick pictures she'll probably just start at the beginning and work her way through it methodically she might skip one she doesn't want to do but generally she'll colour I think she'll just colour them all in order because that's the kind of way she goes so I like this picture. I do like these April Amber books. I think they're so sweet. <laughs> Just looking at it thinking how sweet she looks. There you go. <laughs> so plans for the week. Work colouring, eBay, playing with Jennifer. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot else to do, really, apart from obviously household stuff, which goes without saying you do that anyway, don't you, right? Um, but yeah, it's, there's not a lot else to do. I think it's a question of just trying to uh, get through the day, the week, the month, 2020. <laughs> the, the strangest year I, I've ever seen as best as we can and that you know um keep each other safe as much as possible i know there are people who don't like to wear masks and they think people who wear masks are sheep but if you look at this way china and japan wear masks all year round if they've got a cold they wear a mask so that they don't pass that cold on to somebody else and so they have lower rates of sickness in general so it just goes to show that um if somewhere like Japan and China, and I mean obviously their pollution levels are a lot higher as well, especially China, uh, but if they wear masks to stop getting people sick because they've just got a common cold, why is it so hard? I know there are people who can't wear them and that's fair enough and I would never ever say you should be wearing a mask because you just don't know whether or not that person's suffering from some sort of hidden disability or hidden illness. I mean I myself suffer from chronic, chronic asthma now five chest infections last year I think you remember and for me I can wear a mask it's not pleasant and I don't like wearing it for very long but as I only wear it to go shopping to do my shopping 
while I'm in the shops because they've now made that mandatory. I'm happy to wear one. The reason I haven't had my hair cut and coloured uh, since the salons have opened is I don't think I could sit there for three hours with it on while they did it because that's how long it takes, you know. So I'm willing to, to wait and pay a lot extra when I need to get it redone completely after this is over, if it's ever over. And if it's not, I'm going to have very, very long uh, multicoloured hair. What I would do is I'd just go for a cut. I won't have it coloured. I'll just say to, to my hairdresser, Dale, can I, can I just have it cut, please? Um, I can't sit there for that long with a mask on. But I understand that you've got to keep everybody safe. So... I don't have a problem with it. I can wear one, so it, I mean, I've got to be honest, I was very disorientated wearing it the first time uh, in a shop on Sunday. Um, and I only go really to the shops once a week. It's like tomorrow we'll drop Jennifer off and Paul will go and put the post in the post office and pick up some essential chocolatey supplies from Spa, which is where the post office is at the same time. And he'll wear a mask in there and he'll be in there for two minutes, between two and five minutes while he does that. Um, which is fine, uh, but I don't, I just, there's no point of both of us going in, so he can uh, go in and do that and I'll, I'll wait in the car, turn the engine off, just sit there and wait for him. So, I don't think we'll be going back to the office anytime soon. And in fact the Welsh, the First Minister, has said, Mark Drayford, he wants 30% of the office workforce to keep working from home, or 30% of the workforce to keep working from home, um, to reduce congestion and pollution. Um, so whereas Boris and his ilk are trying to get people back in the offices because they want to support the local economy, understandable, with people using uh, coffee shops and bakeries and cafes, uh, Mark Drayford is more concerned about pollution. Of course, we've got the M4 corridor and they never built the relief road. Um, because uh, Drakeford and his crew said uh, it was too decimating to the wetlands, which is a nature reserve, and it, it's too it's just too much for the environment. Um, so they're looking at alternates, and I think one of the way the alternates is to improve the public transport network, and to then, um, like I said, if you can work from home, why not? So, I mean, I know that if my company allows me to work from home on a permanent-ish basis, there may be the times when we need to go into the office for meetings or to um, just to catch up with managers, that's fine. But I would love to be able to work from home permanently. It's easier on me. I don't have the stress of driving. I don't have the cost in diesel, petrol, whichever car you're trying to use. Mine's diesel at the moment. I hardly use it. Literally just use it to take Jennifer down in the morning, pick her up. Um... And that's only because it's getting cold and it can be wet this time of year. Next summer, we might walk down. Of course, you'll be going to the reception in the in the September. So, yeah, it's just a matter of what our company should say at the end when this is resolved. I don't know yet, so I'll find out at some point. It's not going to change yet because we're in a local lockdown uh, till at least October, and I think it's going to go past that, to be honest. So. Like I said, if they, if they say we're going to be in a national lockdown in Wales soon, it's not, you know, within seven weeks, it's not going to happen. So, my brother Chris said in an email, because he's over in New York, New Zealand, and they're in a semi-lockdown as well at the moment. Um, how's it going in, in Camp Caerphilly? I said it's no different than before, really, because it wasn't really going anywhere very much. Uh, we had a couple of days out, didn't we, at uh, Roth? which was nice and obviously I went to the auction house to pick up some stuff for one week. That I can still do because it's essential to my business to have stock. I have got stock at the moment. I don't really need to go but if something came up that was good and reasonably priced then yes of course I would because I'm running a business and that business is helping to pay for the extras that we have like holidays and stuff like that so my mum and I are going to go halves on a Kindle Unlimited subscription because uh, a lot of the books she likes are on there for free but you have to pay three or four pounds for them 
and I said, well, there's a lot of books I like that I can't get because they're on Unlimited. So I said, if, if I pay for it the first month or the second month, you pay for it the first, every other month. And uh, we'll work it that way. And she'll be fine like that. And we'll do it like that. Because oh, I, I have to do all the work. <laughs> Trawling through the Kindle lists to find what we want. And there'll be so many more if I could have the Unlimited. There we go. I'm liking this, she's looking good. And we've already been going 24 minutes, but we will finish it today. There's not a huge amount to do. And then we'll choose something for the next video. I'm quite happy to sit here and colour all night long and all day. I don't think they'd appreciate that if I did that at work though, if I didn't work and just sat and coloured instead. So I think I better do my job. <laughs> no, my job's alright. I'm going to sit there with the radio on in the background or the TV on quietly. And a uh, cup of tea or a Diet Coke or a squash or sometimes even mango juice if I can get it. And just carry on doing my hours. Help out where I can with everybody else. Get confused. <laughs> it's not that bad. No, it's all right. It's a good job. I like my job. I mean, I started doing it because I thought that when she went to school, I'd have to give up work because I'd have nobody to take care of her during the, the school holidays because my parents are so elderly and they'd be even older then. Um, again, if we work, can work from home, I won't have to because I can... Um, I'll be able to keep an eye on her while working, but we'll have to see. Um, cause I don't really want to give up my job, I like my job. Started there in 2011, nearly been there 10 years, so it must be alright. Normally my um, tolerance level for a job is 4 years, so to be there 11 years means there's something good there. And I think it's because the job changes. The, the, we do a lot of different stuff that changes uh, processes. Keeps it interesting. I like it anyway. But, um, yeah. I like this little girl. I think she's so sweet. I'll do over the, the blue bits next. So it's quite warm tonight. I'm going to have to put the fan on when I finish filming. I could probably put it on now. I just don't want it to uh, drown out my voice because I'm not talking that loudly because everybody's in bed. It's not late. It's only just got it's about, probably about half past nine, I guess. So I'm usually up to around midnight normally. Um, colouring or reading or watching YouTube, listening to audiobooks. I've got an audiobook on my phone. I'm, I've nearly finished and I'm really enjoying it. And I cannot wait. Because I've got, you know, I'm really enjoying the book, so I might listen to that tonight. And I've still got the Richard Osman book to finish. Um, the thing is, I find it very hard to read these days because obviously if, with Jennifer, I'm always listening out for her. And then of course, I don't get to read much during the day because she's she grabs it off of you. So most of the books I read tend to be Spot the Dog and Peppa Pig. Oof. But she enjoys them. That's all that matters. Well, she's enjoying them. That's what it's about, isn't it? Making sure she's happy, safe, and enjoying her childhood. Oh, I've got to move. Sorry, I'm a bit stuck. Mm. I need to get the uh, light blue glitter pen, which is miles away. And where's my dark blue? I did have a dark blue. Yeah, it's got a purple lid on it because Jennifer was playing with them and lost the lid. So this is a blue pen, as you can see by the end. And a little bit of ink that's left. It's got a purple top on it because Jennifer lost the top. <laughs> but that doesn't really matter, does it? So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit of glitter in her bow. Like that. A little bit around here. Just so that she's a little bit sparkly. <laughs> 
also covers up anywhere where I've gone and over the lines with the other colours. Ah, uh, clever trick. Well, when we've got white gaps there. There we go. A little bow. So you can't really see much, but it is on there. Yeah, we'll put one on this little bow here. And this one. And a little bit here. Whoops. Whoops. I won't put any on socks. And then we'll have a little bit of the darker blue on one of her buckles on her shoes. Just there. And we'll have a little bit on her, uh, her little Michael E. Jackson -y gloves that she's wearing. She's wearing two, so she's not really like Michael Jackson, is she? There we go. And now we've got the hearts and the. Um, flowers. I'm going to do the flowers orange and the hearts red. I don't know how long ago that turned off. Um, I'm going to do the hearts red and the flowers orange is what I was saying. Even though they're on a background but they are glittery so. Yeah I don't know how long it was off. It wasn't off for long so. Hopefully you didn't miss too much. I know we're at 30 minutes now though. There we go. Oh, they look completely different colour red, aren't they? That's brilliant. So. So my vlog has been terrible for those of you who watched the vlogging um, this week. I keep forgetting to do it. I've had two days where I've just done a bit at the beginning of the day and a bit at the end and nothing in the middle. It's because there's nothing to do. There's nothing much happening other than me pottering around the house. Tomorrow I might try and sort out the bookcases if Jennifer's tired and has sleep. So I can vlog a bit of that, sorting out the um, dedicated Hollywood bookcase because I haven't done a lot on that. I still need to tidy up the shed a bit but that's okay that'll be easy done anyway so I, do that. I think I'll do the room tomorrow so I get my books done so when I change my what was the final vlog into um, an entertainment channel with reviews of entertainment books, cinema books, um, music books, record collections, DVDs I buy, don't buy many but hey my my classic film collection, my documentaries that I like to watch um, as well as all the records I buy and things like that because there's just nothing to put on there at the moment just simply because of the um, pandemic I might even just change it back to my normal name and um, try something similar like that. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. I, I need a name. And I'm still asking for submissions, but they have to be on the, one of the weekly vlogs. And then I can make a note of them and uh, ask for it. So, yeah. So my friend Michelle Morgan, the writer, who has written many books on Marin Rowe, is uh, having her first novel published, I think it's this month actually, which is great. I can't wait to read that eventually, you know what I'm like. And she's also working on her new Marilyn book or a new biography of Marilyn. Um, but this is specifically on the six months I think it was or the three months four months some the amount of time that she spent I think it was four months in England while making the film uh The Prince and the Showgirl with Laurence Olivier and Dame Sybil Thorndike so 
I knew about this a little while ago. She told me about it. I just said, don't tell anyone. I said, I certainly won't tell anybody. Um, but she's now announced it, so it's fine to talk about. Uh, it's a book she has wanted to write for nearly 30 years, to be honest. And before she became as well published as she has been, uh, nobody was interested in it. But now she can pretty much say, I want to write a book about this, which is fantastic. Um, so all of us are very much looking forward to that because it's a time in Marilyn's life that has, although been written about, there's been a lot of lies written about that time as well and knowing Michelle the way she researches it is going to be very well written she today said she was I think she was talking to somebody who worked at Parkside House or did something about a paper boy or the gardener's boy or something like that anyway, she was I, I don't know offhand and she's hoping to go to Parkside and have a look around the grounds um, at some point so She's made it to the gate, but she's hoping to get in. <laughs> you never know. If anyone can, Michelle can. And she's been talking to the Queen's glove maker who made gloves for Marilyn. And um, there's this shop in London where um, Marilyn bought um, bath bubbles and perfume that wasn't her famous Chanel number no. five. She's been talking to them. So there's going to be a lot of good information that you wouldn't, because it's going to be an in-depth book about the time in England. It's going to be more than just about the filming of the film. It's going to hopefully be a lot of background on what else was going on as well. So things she did, like she went shopping on Oxford Street. She went to see a view from Bridge at a theatre, um, so there's all that stuff, the press conference at the Savoy, arriving at the, what was London Airport, it's now Heathrow, she's been spending time there. Um, so it's going to be very, very interesting to read what she has um, um, and what she finds out. I, I really am looking forward to it. So we just about finished I've got one more flower to go after this one and we're done at 37 ish minutes 38 because we did start and then I stopped to find the pens because <clears throat> I'm an idiot so I'm really excited about that book and that book's not coming out till January I think she said January 2022 so she's got till I think June of next summer to write it um, so although it seems like it's going to be a long time it'll fly by I don't want to think about that Jennifer will be even older 2022 should be full Sheesh. and there we have our singing chibi girl with her glittery background glittery bits I really enjoyed doing this picture. It was a nice simple one. It didn't take too long. Two videos is quite good. I think three is the majority for doing um, colouring charts, I think. You know, otherwise it gets a bit boring for you guys. So two to three is perfect. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and me rambling on about all sorts of rubbish. If you have, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Uh, share this video with your friends if you're not a subscriber please subscribe I really do appreciate every subscriber so hello if you're new and thanks for coming back if you've been here before um, don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified when I do put up new videos I try to put videos up several times a week sometimes you might even get them every day it just depends on if I've got the time and I will see you very very soon thanks guys